Hi there. So in this video, we're going to talk about the orbitals involved in the E1 elimination reaction. So let's just review the, the mechanism to start. So we have an alkyl halide with L representing a leaving group. And in the first step of the reaction, that leaving group leaves with the C leaving group bond breaking and forming a carbocation intermediate. The next step of the reaction, a base collides with a proton on the beta carbon, and as the base proton bond forms, a hydrogen carbon bond breaks, forming a CC double bond or CC pi bond, and getting to the final product. We can also watch that as an animation. So in the structure shown below, the leaving group first leaves. Notice a rearrangement of the geometry of that central carbon. There's a now a trigonal planar carbocation intermediate. The base now collides with the proton on the beta carbon. Simultaneously, BH bond formed, CH bond breaks, and the new pi bond forms. Now let's take a look at the molecular orbital perspective for that reaction. So as a starting point, we have a filled orbital shown on the base the filled CH sigma bond, and the filled C leaving group pi bond. So in the first step of the reaction, that leaving group will leave. So the leaving group takes the electrons with it, leaving an empty P orbital on that sp2 hybridized carbon, which again is trigonal planar. In the next step of the reaction, the base will collide with that proton on the beta carbon, the BH bond will form at the same time as the HC bond is leaving. Notice now that as that new pi bond is forming, this sp3 hybridized orbital becomes effectively a pi orbital overlapping with the empty p orbital on the right-hand carbon. Now both of these carbon atoms have rehybridized over the course of the reaction, both from sp3 to sp2.